that Jesus is wanting us to, to literally um, to have such a change of purpose that we can feel the presence of God in the middle of a, a concrete city or out there, you know, rowing down a, a river and a stream. We're looking at a beautiful sunset or just walking by and hearing an air hammer going, <laughs> you know, to, to literally be able to so train our mind that, that, that we can be so tuned in that, that there wouldn't be a difference between the air hammer, you know, and riding down a stream. Now that's, you can see where this is leading. It's, he's talking about a really, really changing the purpose of your mind to such an extreme that you're not dependent on anything external for your peace. Remember that nature as well as everything else is, is a backdrop and that the, the purpose of holding the Holy Spirit's purpose is what, is where my peace of mind will come from. So you look at nature and what do you see? I mean, you're, you're looking for the purpose God gives to well, let's take that as a specific example. There's a point in the Course where Jesus says that you could receive salvation from, I think it's a, it's a cup of table in the one place for salvation. It's like you're seeing, you're reading meaning into that table. You know, the texture of the table, uh, the size of the table maybe, what it's made out of. Um, you know, all these things are meanings that are given, that are ego meanings that are read onto the table. And he says that the, the table shares the purpose of the universe. In other words, an actual table or a cup shares the purpose of the birds chirping or the sunset or whatever, that that's where it comes down to letting go of all my preconceived notions of what the table is or what a cup is or what a sunset is or the chirping birds. Now that, that can, that's like a starting point that we can actually practice with that. What really, the ego really comes up is in relationships because it's kind of like every person that we seem to meet, the ego has a computer file on them. Okay. It's all based on the past and all our past encounters and exchanges mm -hmm. and it's like, you know, you see somebody and there may be a little bit of ambivalence because maybe the last time you got together you didn't part on, on friendly terms and that's in the computer and the ego's going, oh, you know, you, you're, you're still not connected with this person. That the Course is literally helping us to start to raise the computer up and, and start to say, this past is preventing me from seeing my brother as he truly is right now, in the present. In a deceived state, the mind has to be trained to hold on to peace as a goal. Now, now this is interesting because if you, for me, when I was working with the Course, you know, I was working with the steps of forgiveness and this and that for a long time, and then there came a point where I read the, the setting the goal section in the Course, where he talked about holding the goal out in front, you know, and it was like, oh, this seems, you know, this seems like a real benefit. That it's easier to hold on to peace out in front and to carry peace as your goal out in front. Like when, you, when you're going into work or when you're going to meet somebody, if you really hold it out in front like a torch in your mind and you say, whatever happens, no matter what is said or done, I want peace more than anything, then it's amazing how, how it works. You can use this in the grocery store, in the laundry, matter or whatever, you know, you can start to practice holding peace out front and just watch how how the interactions change. Like you were saying with your boss, just holding those thoughts, you can just see how powerful the changes were. So actually, I, I see that as almost like a um, an expedient because the other way would be to say, oh, well, I'll just kind of get busy and caught in the rat race, and then as you kind of get <laughs> caught in the rat race, and then all of a sudden you start to feel a little annoyed, but you're not even aware of it, you know, you just kind of go along, and you're a little more annoyed, and before you know it, you're like in a fit of rage, and you don't feel like turning to God, the last thing you feel like doing, you don't even want to see the Course at that point. It's, it's much more difficult to work the mind back from that place than to simply just say, okay, I don't know what anything is for today, and I'm just going to hold this abstract idea of peace of mind. You will then perceive everybody is trying to help you achieve your goal if you hold on to that goal. You will be looking for witnesses to peace if you really are anchored in it.